What's up guys, thanks for watching. Today we're grilling out in the snow, but it's not gonna stop us. We still gotta eat. You guys wanna watch the video, so let's get started. We're gonna be grilling cedar plank salmon. It's a super simple recipe. It's delicious. My family, my kids love it, which is always important. Before we start uh, prepping the salmon, let's talk about the cedar plank. So this is a regular cedar board. I picked this up from uh, my local Home Depot. It's not a specialty you know, grilling cedar plank or anything fancy like that. Getting these from your local hardware store is a much cheaper and more efficient way than ordering something online or going to a specialty grilling store. So just go to your, uh, you know, go to Home Depot, find cedar or maple, adler, you know, really any kind of wood you want. Ask them to cut it to size and you get your cedar plank ready. I also do not soak these in water. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna toss this in my big green egg to char up one side and that's the side that we're gonna be cooking the salmon on. So this will help release uh, some of those flavors from the wood and uh, penetrate the fish as it's cooking. We got the egg fired up. Uh, I don't have a lot of lump charcoal in there because I don't want too big of a fire in there while the uh, fish is cooking. So we're gonna take our board and just plop it right down. Just like so. We're gonna let that side char up. I'm gonna keep an eye on it so it doesn't catch on a fire and doesn't burn, but you want that nice char on the uh, cedar. Man, I can already start to smell the uh, cedar creating that sweeter flavor coming right off of it. Just like that, so we're gonna char up the whole board and then we'll go prep the uh, fish. So this is what you're going for, nicely charred cedar plank. So now we can go in and uh, start prepping our salmon. Let's get started on our salmon. So this uh, beautiful filet is from uh, Salmon and Sable. These are line caught in Alaska and this is as good as salmon can get. So I'm gonna take this guy out of the packaging and I'll put it on my charred cedar board. So right on the uh, charred side. Put the salmon. Now I'll take my seasoning. So I'm going with a uh, Meat Church Holy Voodoo. It's a uh, kind of a sweet and spicy rub which should pair very nicely with the uh, fish. Just wanna give it a nice even coating on the uh, fleshy side. And this guy is ready to hit the big green egg. So I'm gonna put this aside and I'll slice a couple slices from my uh, lemon and my lime. And these I'm gonna put on the fish right at the very end uh, before glazing it with my blue agave and butter mixture. So we'll do two slices of the lemon. and two slices of the lime, and these will go on right at the end. All right, so the salmon's been sitting with the uh, seasoning for about 10, 15 minutes. It's looking really good, smells awesome. I do have a smaller skillet with some butter ready for the sauce. I'm gonna melt the butter on the grill, add some of this uh, blue agave, and then uh, coat the uh, salmon with that. I've got my lemon and lime slices. The uh, egg is cruising at about 300 degrees, so we can go ahead and uh, put our cedar plank salmon on the grill. Total cook time on the salmon is probably gonna be about 20, 25 minutes max. I'm gonna pull it when it hits 125 internal, which is a perfect finish temperature for a salmon. And when it hits about 115 is when I'm gonna glaze it uh, with my mixture and put the uh, lemons and limes on top. Our salmon is looking great. I did put my uh, little pan with the uh, butter on the grill to melt that butter. Now we'll add our blue agave. Stir this guy up. We'll let the salmon continue cooking. It's not ready just yet. It's sitting at about 100 degrees now. So at about 115 or so, I'm gonna cover it with our uh, agave and butter mixture. Our salmon hit about 110. So I'm gonna put my lemons and limes on just like so. Now I'll take my butter and agave mixture 
and we'll pour it right on top of the salmon. Now you gotta be careful here because there is fat in that butter, so there's a chance it'll flare up as it hits the uh, charcoal that's on the bottom. There it goes. So just close the lid and that will put that fire out right away. Fire is out, so again, if it does flare up, just close the lid, that'll uh, extinguish the fire and now we'll just continue cooking until it's finished. So just another couple more minutes until the salmon hits uh, 125 internal. Our salmon just hit 125 and it's ready to be removed. So let's pull this guy off the egg. And I have to say, this looks great, smells amazing. So let's bring this guy inside. See how it turned out. I brought my salmon inside and I'm gonna let it rest for about five, 10 minutes or so before uh, cutting into it. It smells great though, looks, looks awesome, great color. It's time to slice into our salmon. Move this lemon out of the way. That looks perfect. Nice and flaky, very juicy inside. One of the reasons why you only want to cook salmon to 125 is so it doesn't dry out and this looks, this looks great. Let's give our salmon a uh, taste test. Oh man, that is awesome. It has a little kick to it from the uh, holy voodoo rub. A uh, great citrus flavor from just putting the limes and the lemons on top and a little sweet finish from the agave and then a, that buttery richness. This turned out really good. I mean, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but let's do another bite. Mm. The other awesome part about grilling salmon is you get those kind of grilled and smoky flavors. It's not overpowering because we cooked it at a higher temperature. Then you also get a taste from that uh, from that cedar plank and that char that was on it. So really good, really happy with this one. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Let me know down in the comments what you think about it. And if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And thanks again for watching.